Hi, it's Andy again, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the drawer layout or navigation drawer um, on with Action Bar Sherlock, so you can use it on older devices. As you can see here, I am using Gingerbread, and I am able to get this to work. Uh, so it's still unlike a sliding menu. Uh, this does not incorporate a way to um, drag it from the middle. In order for you to activate the layout, you pull in from this uh, last few pixels over here and you drag out. Or you can use, uh, in Action Bar Sherlock, the button up here. Now I haven't been able to figure out quite just yet how to use the, the same menu item, or the launcher, um, this icon, to change it to, so that it's consistent with the, the API. 11 plus version, but uh, I will try to figure that out um, if that's very important to you guys. Uh, for me, it this, it this serves its purpose right now. I mean, I have the code implemented, I just don't know why it's not uh, working. So I'll have to work on that. Um, so I'll go, here's the code over here. I'm going to go over how, to, how I did this. Um, basically, I created five different fragments and I created a list array with each fragment on here and when you click on it, it swaps out the fragment that's in display. Um, another thing I didn't go over in the last video on how to on the um, API uh, 11 version, uh, I forgot to go over this on prepare options menu and uh, what this whole section here does is that when you actually open up the drawer it hides so that you actually can't select the, the, any, the item that's available here. So uh, and uh, I, I included uh, Jake Wharton's uh, Action Bar Sherlock license here. Um, I haven't been doing this, and I apologize. But this is how you uh, can implement it, and this is should be good enough if you want to put this in your app. So let's go on to the code and how this works. So it's it's laid out very similar to the other one. Um, I have five fragments here and uh, the main activity and uh, there's only there's actually two classes here instead of three like in the uh, API 11 version from Google this one I I have a fragment activity a Sherlock fragment activity since that so we can use the action bar and uh, the other one is uh, this drawer item click listener uh, you can put this in its own class over here um, to be consistent I left it here so you can follow along. There's only going to be an update on showing you the differences that you have to use to get this to work with Action Bar Sherlock. So uh, if you haven't watched my last video which I just posted just now, uh, watch that beforehand because I explain the code in a lot more detail. So wherever you get Action Bar, uh, get Action Bar, we're going to change that to get support Action Bar. Um, this allows us to reference the Action Bar Sherlock. But uh, everything else should be pretty good to go. Uh, slight differences, so uh, I changed the, the, the name of the ID here on the unprepare options menu uh, because that's the one that's default, default when you create a new uh, project. Um, we're using Action Bar Sherlock's uh, menu items, so don't forget to change those out. Um, and change this to get support menu inflator if you're going to use this way um, as well as the menu items have to be action bar Sherlock menu items by default you'll have them in there um, you have to clear them out and then import the correct ones or else you're not going to get this to work all right and then uh, so when we select the items um, this is a bit different because we can't use the, the toggle part because that's a API uh, 11 plus actually it's not really a, an API 11 plus what it requires for you to use the M drawer toggle uh, code that's in um, the other one is it requires the menu item to be the stock regular menu item from Android however we're using the action bar Sherlock one so uh, it doesn't work so in order for it to get it to work we've this is a little workaround that I found um, on the internet on uh, uh, Action Bar Sherlock uh, support website and uh, basically we're checking to see if the drawer is open if it is we're gonna close it 
If not, we're going to open it. So that's all it does is this is a little um, little code that when we click on this, it opens the drawer or closes it. And then uh, here's the starting the activity for the, the sources class. So I won't show you that because it's just inflating a content view. It's your standard um, main activity. All right, so then this is all the same. We don't have to change anything here. Uh, here's where I have um, a switch clause. I, I put this same um, style in the last uh, video I posted just uh, yesterday on, um, on how to use a sliding menu in a, in a practical way. So this works if you know exactly how many items you're going to have on your list. And I know I have five because I created a string array with five items. So I have five items on the list. And then, so I'm going to create five cases. Now with Java, we start at zero, so this is going to go zero to four. And each case, we, we open up a new fragment. And so whenever I click on an item, um, what I do is I begin a transaction, I replace this content frame, which is just a frame layout. The fragment's actually going to replace it, and uh, we're going to replace it with whatever this new fragment equals. So if I click on zero, K0, which is a position that I'm, I'm selecting, uh, it's going to put in there uh, fragment one instead. And we commit that change here. Now, uh, also, uh, this is all the same as in the last uh, tutorial. This doesn't have to change at all. Um, so that, that's the only difference I did is I, I made it a little bit simpler by creating a switch clause in here. And you still have to create the on post create and on configuration changed methods uh, if you're going to use this drawer layout. Um, that keeps everything tidy and speedy, and everything works pretty pretty fast. Um, if you want to see how the names change, just follow the code in the last tutorial. I explained how um, the change in the title and the action bar works. So hope you like this tutorial. It's uh, short and sweet, and watch the other one first before you watch this one. Um, so uh, check both videos out if you're interested on in using this on uh, older devices.